This is a video on how to convert an RTC machine that's throwing rabbit targets uh, to a uh, teal chandelle machine that will throw dome targets. Uh, so we're going to be swapping out uh, the rabbit arm and putting the chandelle teal arm on. Uh, so first thing we need to do is uh, put the machine in the semi-decocked position. So we're going to have the machine hooked up to power. We're going to flip the toggle switch up. And we're going to uh, semi-decock the machine. Okay, so now that we've semi-decocked the machine, we want to unhook it from power. And now we will be uh, taking this arm off, so we need to uh, loosen these uh, bolts right here with a half inch wrench and so let's loosen those okay so we're gonna loosen these bolts and remove the rabbit arm and now we're going to put on the teal chandelle arm and make sure that you have it orientated where the curve is going into the machine and so then we're just going to line that up with the holes and then Put back the bolts and tighten it. So now we're just going to finish tightening these bolts. You want them tight, but don't get them too tight where you strip them. Uh, if you want, you can uh, put a little Loctite on the bolts themselves, just so you don't run the risk of over tightening them and strip out the, the aluminum threads in the throwing arm. Okay, so now that we got those tight, we're going to want to push the arm in and we can we can tell that the machine's safe because we put it in the semi-decock position because as I push this arm in to access this other bolt uh, you can see that the this is running into the motor crank so it's not going to fire so now I can loosen this uh, bolt here with a 9 16 wrench and then I'm going to slide the this block the pinch block all the way to the outside so when you're using the the dome targets, throwing RTC, throwing teal and chandelle, you want the, the pinch block to be all the way out. So we're gonna loosen that. So now with a three quarter inch wrench, we're just gonna put it in between uh, the pinch block and the clutch. And I'm just gonna push on it and then you see how it slid in, uh, or slid out to the outside there. So once it you know, stops, now we can just tighten it. So now that uh, we've tightened that bolt, uh, we've the arm is now in the chute. So we need to semi-decock the, the arm again. Uh, so it, it fires and the arm is going to be out of the chute so we can adjust the, the two plates that allow the target to drop into the, the target ramp and into the fingers for launch. So we're going to semi-decock the machine. Hook it up to power first. Okay, now I'm gonna unhook it from power. Um, so now we're going to adjust these plates and to do that you're gonna need a quarter inch drive and a three eighths wrench to loosen these nuts and then back it. Uh, back off these bolts to allow these two fences to come back. If you don't do that, this is what happens. We're converting this for a dome target. So if I put a dome target in here and you don't adjust the uh, plates, uh, what happens is that target is just going to get stuck and then the arm's going to cock and break the target every time. So we, got, we have to adjust those plates out. So we're just going to loosen all four of these. Now with our drive, I'm just going to look inside here in the chute and back, start backing these plates off. All right. So now I can take that dome target rotated in and so now it's, it's dropped in that chute nicely um, so I just want to make sure that that each plate is just barely touching the the dome 
of the target. So I'm gonna adjust this in just a little bit so that it is just barely touching the top of that dome target. And same with the, the bottom. And so that gives the, the target just enough pressure to get held, but not enough pressure to hold it up in the chute as it's dropping down. And we'll just tighten these back up. So now that you have your plates adjusted and your arm tight and moved out, uh, now we're going to put the dome targets in and uh, rotate the machine and fire a few, making sure our target looks good. Uh, we'll throw it in the, the chandelle. Oh, so see, I've got it too tight, so I need to back these off. I backed those out a little bit more and then the target dropped in. So now let's rotate it again and fire one. So now the targets are cycling down and dropping into the into the chute. And they're looking good for Shondell. Now we'll tilt it back and check, make sure everything's feeding good for the teal. Looks good.